Today, we're going to build, deploy, and test a loop on ground receive antenna. I'm going to show you everything you need, how to build it, how to lay it on the ground, and then we're going to do some receiver testing with it. Let's get at it. Ah, the mystery. That is the loop on ground receive antenna. A lot of people have asked me, how do I hear stations that nobody else can seem to hear? I got your answers today. We're gonna build one, because I need to redo mine. It uh, may have accidentally got uh, run over by the lawnmower. I don't know. But we're gonna build one, and I'm gonna show you everything you need. Let's go through the materials list first. There's a link in the description below to KK5JY, that's Kilo Kilo 5, Juliet Yankee their website which has detailed explanations on how to do this so any questions refer to the link below because that's the source of the information that i got i'm paraphrasing what he has he has great charts and plots and graphs and goes into great detail first thing you're going to need is obviously wire you need for this loop that i'm building it's a 15 foot square so i have 60 feet of wire 60 feet of wire Obviously, on the end of the wire, you're going to want to put whatever connectors that you use to collect to connect to your isolation transformer. More on that in a minute. Little tip about your wire since you're going to be laying it out in a square pattern, every 15 feet or so, every 15 feet, wrap a little wire tie around it. That way, you know where the corners of your antenna is going to be. So, you need 60 feet, 60 feet of wire. Uh, this happens to be stranded, uh, I have no idea the gauge, if I had to guess, maybe 18, 20, don't really think it matters much. You're going to need connectors to connect to your radio, to connect to your isolation transformer for whatever type of feed line you're going to be using to get the signal back into your shack. To make sure you got connectors this happens to be an f type to a pl259 because my radio takes pl259 on the back of it and i am using uh, cable tv 75 ohm coax to get it back in your shot you're gonna need feed line to get the signal from outside where you got your loop on the ground back to inside right i got a honk ton of this stuff right here this is the rest of it's on the floor but i got a hundred feet of 75 ohm cable tv satellite coax the cheap stuff you can buy a hundred feet of this cheap cheap a lot cheaper than say rg8x or anything like that you're just looking to get your signal from outside to inside the antenna itself the dimensions are not resonant on any hand bands by design so whatever you got to bring the signal from point a to point b will be fine you don't have to use really expensive coax or anything like that the biggest part of this whole thing is an isolation transformer this happens to be one that dx engineering sells it is the bfs1 bravo fox sierra one by dx engineering by no means by no means do you have to buy this from dx engineering it is expensive for what it is it's basically a binocular core toroid on the inside of this mounted to a pretty circuit board that's all it is you can build one cheap go to the website in the description below for kk5jy and he has instructions on how to build your own isolation transformer for cheap i'm talking if you don't have any materials at all 10 or 15 dollars maybe 20 dollars if you have to buy a bag of connectors the one from DX Engineering is the one I have and the one I've been using for a long time. That's why it's dirty. So excuse the dirtiness. Your antenna is gonna connect to the two wing, wing nut terminals on the top of it here. One side of your loop and go around the yard and back to the other side of your loop. And the one from DX Engineering has a F type connector on it. So you can use your El Cheapo cable TV coax 75 ohm. You can get it buy hundreds of feet for really cheap so that's the equipment you're going to need obviously you're going to need a radio that has at least two antenna ports because you're going to want your transmit side and your receive side if your radio has a dedicated receive port that's even better 
just take note of whatever connector your radio has on the back so you can get the proper adapters, whether it be SO239 or a BNC connector on the back of your radio, maybe. Just check. You need to have two VFOs. If you do not have two VFOs, you're going to have to find a way to switch. If you have a single VFO radio, you're going to have to have a manual antenna switch, or I'm sure they make some kind of automatic transmit receive switch. But one thing you want to protect against thoroughly is do not have your receive active on your receive loop while you are transmitting on another antenna. No matter where your receive loop is connected to, you're going to overload the front end of your radio and it's not going to be happy. You want to protect it. Do not transmit through your receive loop. It's not resonant on any handband. And if you're like me, you run 75 ohm cable, you're not going to get a good match anyway. So do not transmit. So have a dedicated VFO for your receive loop. Have a dedicated receive loop port on your radio. Or either have a manual antenna switch. Just keep in mind, be very careful of where you are when you transmit. Or have some kind of automatic transmit receive device. Let's get outside. Let's get this thing on the ground. And um, I'll show you how you lay it out and how I attach it to the ground. So maybe it won't get run over again. Let's go outside. All right, so we're outside and I think we have everything we need now. We have our antenna wire, our 60 feet of antenna wire right there. We got a honking mess of 100 feet of 75 ohm cable TV wire. We have our isolation transformer that we're gonna connect it all with. Ground stakes. These are stakes that are made for just wire. You put them in the ground, they're biodegradable so they'll go away after some time. Hopefully they'll hold the antenna wire down long enough to let the grass grow over them so they don't get sucked up by the mower again and a trusty hammer to pound these stakes into the ground let's go over here to the corner where the isolation transformer is going to be then we'll walk around and uh we'll lay this antenna down let's get it done all right my isolation transformer i'm actually going to put right here and i like the one that dxc has because it has tabs on it if you want to screw it to something you can um, if you get your own box to build these, you might want to get one with a tab on it or something like that. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to mount this. It actually fits right here. I need to do the grass. It fits right here, and I can just wedge it up into my vinyl siding. And it will sit right there. Attach my coax to it. Attach the two ends of my loop. Be good to go. Let's string the loop out around the yard. Let's fast forward this because this is going to be boring. All right, I got my wire splayed out here on the corners of my loop. You probably can't see it from right there. I have little paver blocks that I'm going to hold it down with temporarily. Remember, at 15 feet intervals, I put a little wire tie on my antenna so I know where my corners are supposed to be. It'll help you out. Let's get it laid down roughly, and then we'll go back with the spikes, and we'll start nailing it down. We did it. All that's left now is to hook up the coax to the isolation transformer, run it inside, and test it. Man, it's getting hot. All right, let's listen into the South Cars net here, 7251, and see how our loop's doing. Right now, this is just the main antenna. This is the main antenna. This is going to be my receive loop volume. Right now, the receive loop volume is all the way down. So that's the main antenna. Let's go up to the receive loop, turn the volume up. You can notice up here on the screen the difference in signal strength. This guy on my main antenna is coming in about, I don't know, 10, about 10 over. Oh, QSB just got him, but he was coming in about 10 over. Notice you about an S7 on the receive loop. 
Signals are going to be less because you're cutting out a lot of noise. I'm actually running a preamp right now on the receiver loop. I got my preamp set as one. And this is all on the receive loop. Compare it to the main antenna. Florida, his membership number is one one five three zero on the roster. That's Lou in Florida. Receive loop. Looks like it's working. Let's scroll around the band here. Some other signals down here. Who is this guy? You know, I think down in Immature, you know, you're going to die. You kill these people. You didn't even hear that. <laughs> Random 40-meter talks. Main antenna. Re receive loop. Oh, he stopped talking. There he is. So, yeah, it looks like the loop is working. Now, the signal strength on your receive loop, like I said, is going to be less than if you have an antenna in the air, but it's going to cut out a lot of your noise. I got to run a preamp on my receive loop just to uh, be able to hear some of the signals. But looks like my loop is working and working pretty daggum good, and I'm happy with that. I'm happy to get it replaced. Uh, let's go back up and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Well, there you have it the loop on ground receive antenna uh, from KK5JY. Again, check the links in the description if you want detailed analytics and detailed information about this antenna. Looks like it's doing well. Good to get it replaced and uh, good to be able to hear stuff again. And, um, like I said, your signal strength on your receive loops is going to be less than if you have a wire in the air just because it's on the ground. But it's also going to cut out a lot of noise because that's the purpose of the receive loop, right? To cut out the noise so you can hear the lower signals. So if you have a neighbor that has noisy electrical or maybe you have some noisy electrical stuff in your house, receive loop might help you out a lot. Glad to get mine back up and running and... Uh, if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified the next time I put out a video. Have any questions, shoot them in the comments below. And until next time, see ya.